This house tour is brought to you by the new House & Home Designer Collection for Scotties. Eight great patterns to mix and match. Find your style with Scotties. Really good friends of mine, Mira and Tal, needed extra space like we all did during COVID and apparently the basement wasn't enough, wasn't far enough away. And so we came out here and took a look and decided that we would build her a separate building. This space was dismal. It was dark, it was unfinished. It had been used for storage for years. It was uninhabitable for sure, not a place you want to go out to and kind of an eyesore from the outside as well. Looking from the back of the house, you know, into your backyard, you see this she shack instead of a she shed. My friends had a really, really extensive wish list for this space and I don't blame them because, you know, in the, living in the city, you need to get as much as you can out of every square foot. So this space is her office a hangout zone for adults and kids. His clinic, he's an osteopath. There's a workbench where Tal has all of his tools. It's a home gym. And other than that, just a great spot for a getaway, a little sanctuary. So we had a few saves and we had a few splurges in this space. One of our splurges and a must was no windows, for sure. There were existing skylights back here before. We wanted to bring in as much light as possible and we broke open the whole front with these great big windows that let in so much light. Now we had to save in spaces too. So who's our best friend we're trying to save? Ikea! So we did a bunch of research with Ikea and came up with the perfect size that would fit wall to wall and it fits perfectly, it's functional, it looks great and we really scored there. We did a lot of thinking about how we would use the space. When you enter the she shed, there's a bit of an entryway. There's a basket to throw shoes in, a little bit of storage somewhere to tuck a few things away. And then immediately you end up in the entertaining hangout zone. And we have a great big comfy sofa, an L-shaped sofa, huge TV to watch movies, some fun pillows, plants, things to give it a little bit of life. And then we come to Mira's office. She just has her standing desk. That was a must. I wanted the wall to look built in, but I didn't want this desk to be floating in the middle of the wall. And so we just use this wall as display all around her desk. And she has family photos, the kids art, cool books, anything and everything. And it's just colorful and warm. It really gives a fun pop to the space. Of course, if you're out here, especially in the winter, working all day, you wanna have your little snacks, drinks. So we've got a little kitchenette back here. We have a little small fridge, sink, some snacks, anything that you need just to chill and again, stay separate. <laughs> separate, but together. The biggest challenge about this space was how to give Tal his own zone, which was, let's face it, a little less pretty, a lot less pretty. Like I said, he's super, super handy. So what we decided to do was build this dividing wall, not all the way up to the roof line so that he can still have light. And back there, he's got all of his tools. He can work away. And it's also a great little spot for him to tuck his osteopath table back there, his little stool, so that when clients come over, he just pulls them out and then tuck it away when he's done. They are so happy. Oh my God, they come out here all the time. The kids use it. They entertain back here. I've hung out back here. We had the basement versus outdoor debate, like where should we put our money? What should we do? And we talked about that. And ultimately we decided that being in the basement would just never be as fresh and inviting as being in the backyard with the trees all around you and sunlight. They love it.